What's up YouTube? Welcome back Troll Looters. Today we got some Pokemon going on, but before we get to that, I wanted to let you know we're still giving this away at the end of the month. It is the Trainer Guess. Um, so we'll make sure we'll get that out here in, what's that, seven, eight, nine, ten, four days or so. But today we're going to do some Pokemon. I went looking on the shelf over there. There's a lot of stuff over there, but I went to my local card shop, one of my local card shops, and I found some of the Pokemon bricks. They basically take a bunch of cards that are kind of left over and they put them in bricks and there's a lot of old cards in here but there's I mean it's just different expansions so I thought it would be kind of cool to go through some of these uh, see what's in them I'm not really expecting that there's like super rares in these but who knows I would think if they actually touch the cards and knew what was in them to begin with they'd probably separate a lot of the really good ones but I wanted to find that out more um, from my own experience. So, these are $9.99. Show you here, $9.99 at your, well, at my local card shop. Uh, I got three packs of them, so this should go fairly quick. Uh, so let's dive into them and see what we got. Oh, there's an actual lot of them. How many of them are in here? It doesn't say, just a small. So, hey. 9, 6, 17. So this is done in September. Um... I can already tell some of the cards have like little dents and stuff in them. So let me show you. See, like you notice here, some of these cards are beat up. So they didn't just come out of a deck. They've actually been someone's deck, I assume. You can see the discoloration in them. So let's flip them over and see what's in here. So these aren't really probably good for collecting. Maybe just for play, if you don't have a bunch of cards, maybe this will get you started. So, let's start off with the Snorlax. You can kind of see the different expansions as we go through, depending on where it is. Eakins, Sparrow, Sparrow, Nidoran, Dudio, Seal, Shelder, Ghastly, Hunter, Onyx, Drowsy, Hypno, Voltorb, Porygon, Dranatini, Dragonair, Execute, Cubone, Noibat, Caterpie. So a lot of these are, I mean, just cards. In general, not super, not even great uncommons, I guess. There's uncommon, I mean, nothing impressive yet. I'm hoping something, there we go, something. Some uncommon super scoop up. First hollow. Uh, sooner or later, training gambler is a fossil. So it dates back pretty good. Paris, Meowth, Psyduck, Poliwhirl, Mankey, Bullpix, just a lot of commons. Quilava, Spiritsy, Snubbub, Cottony, Activated Pokey Puff, and Max Potion. Spirit Link. Wow. Not super impressed at all. Got one reverse hollow for $10. Um, so I guess... <clears throat> I guess out of all of that, these bricks are mainly for if you don't have a whole lot of Pokemon and you just want to get some cards. I'm just going to separate this so I can keep up with what all came out of it. If you don't have a whole lot of Pokemon cards and you just want to get started, I didn't count how many there were there. It feels like 40-ish, maybe 50-ish, maybe not that many. That's what it felt like. Um, I'll go back and count later. But this one was done in October of this year. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of tape on this brick. Cutters. So 
Not super impressed with the first one. Definitely feel like I could have gotten something better out of $10 from just buying a pack of Pokemon. And again, the quality of the cards aren't super, I mean, let's look at the next, next set here. So if you just look at some of the edges, if it'll focus, if you look at some of the edges, they're pretty worn edges. Like, look at that card. Really? <laughs> oh, so, so far the moral of the story is be careful with the bricks. Whenever you go into your local card shop, if they have a bunch of just mystery bricks or you can't really see anything and it's just thrown together, probably not going to get great cards that you actually want to collect out of them. That being said, let's dive into the nine tails here we got. That's probably, you know, the rarest thing that's going to come out of here, but let's see. Dwibble, Heracross, there's a cool looking Pikachu, I'm common. Another Pikachu, he looks pretty sweet. Parasect, Trainer, another Paras, Bellsprout, Charmander, Mankey, Dark Poopitar, Poopitar, Poopiter, he's pooping in. Uncommon, Hitman Lee, Uncommon, Common, Common, Uncommon, Misty, Starmie, Horsey. Those are pretty cool. It has the Misties on them as their Misties. Seal. Uh, golden. Golden. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss something here, but I'm not seeing anything super cool. I mean, you got Fossil. They're kind of aged cards to begin with. Or you got a Rocket. Uh, so I guess they're decent quality for what they are. Stantler. Mario, maybe if you wanted to fill in some of the stuff you already had, this is a good idea. So just kind of know what you're getting into ahead of time. Shoulder, Bell Sprout, Erica's Bell Sprout, uh, Gnome, another one. Boy, they went through and just. That was bizarre that those were in order if someone didn't actually put those in order. Uh, there's a cool looking Totodile. I haven't really seen that one. Uh, that artwork. Um, trying to find which one it is. I don't see the logo. There it is. Another Totodile. Sveal. Misty's. Squirtle, Squirtle. Mudkip. Another Misty's Golden. Golden. Rotad. Misty Star You, Misty Star You. So nothing really fancy smancy about that one. Let's get through the other one real quick. Uh, and this one was done also in October. Let's just go straight to that. So, so far, 20 bucks. 20 bucks. And all the brick of commons, nicely. All right, gonna dive right back into the nine tails here. That's kind of a pretty card, kind of unique in a, I guess, a certain way. Two nine tails playing with each other. Now we got Ericus Tangela, Trainer. Yeah, a lot of these are much older cards. Look at the look at the crease on that one. See how it's I mean, this definitely isn't something that you would collect. Ericus Tangela again. Tangela. Magmar. Growlith. Growlith. I mean this is just put in order way too much for it to be <laughs> some form of good news. Vulpix, Vulpix, Farfetch'd. Again, they went through and put these into a brick, so I'm sure they put them in order and just stuck them together and they took out all the really good rare cards and sold them at their local card shop. Makes complete sense and they made $10 off of someone like me who wanted to see what was inside of them. So, again, buyer beware at your local card shop when you're looking at bricks. Magmar, Ghastly, 
unless you need them. I mean, it doesn't have to be a negative thing. If you want to figure out, say, you don't have this Misty for, you know, this expansion, might be a good idea to go do it. Uh, just keep in mind that, like this Misty, see the quality of the card. Magmar, Vulpix, Ekans, Cherub, I see possibly something coming up, I don't know, it's all sparkle. Udrio, Kabuto, I haven't really seen that artwork before. Again, this is a fossil, I didn't collect fossils. Another fossil, Blaine's Vulpix, Blaine in the bottom right, and Bada Bulch. One of him. Yvon, Buto, Mankey. The Venonat. I think it looks like a really evil Venonat. But there you go. Uh, $30 spit. A lot of really common cards. A uh, handful of uncommons. Cards I don't have, to be honest, but cards that I don't necessarily think I want to collect either. Um, but it'd been great to find them in, you know, a pack where they were in a lot better quality. But that's what you get in a brick. So I kind of wanted to throw that out at you. So in case you're one of those people that are like, hey, I noticed you have bricks in here and I wanted to buy some to see what were in them. That's the type of thing you should be on the lookout for. Anytime someone goes through a pack of Pokemon and then resells those Pokemon, that's what you're more than likely going to end up with. Kind of the mostly common, some uncommon, but nothing really super rare. So that is what it is. Smash the sub button if you want to sub. Um, again, we're giving away the, the trainer guests here at the end of the month. We've got some other stuff coming up uh, for next month. Uh, I've got some more kind of brick stuff to go through, but not for Pokemon. i got some magic stuff, and that's pretty cool because it comes from a um, pretty credible source. Cool, cool Stuff Inc. Uh, Rare Fun Magic. Anyway, we'll get into those a little later too. This is really the only coolest thing that came out of there, I think. I mean, there were some cool older stuff, but I wasn't impressed. Probably won't buy these again on Pokemon from the place that I got them because I think that was $30 that was not well spent. Anyway, hope you have a wonderful day. Have a great weekend. Thanks for checking us out.